Now we will talk about the plasmid isolation system. Now there are the ingredients which are required for a plasmid isolation. A beaker, we need micropipette tips, we need micropipette, we need vials to store it, uh, store the ependorphs and with ependorphs different. And we need T buffer with RNA Z solution to degrade the RNA present in the vigorous mixture. We need bacterial culture from which we can isolate the plasmid. We need ethanol, 70% pure. We need vortex mixture for vortex purposes. We need centrifuge, either macro or micro. That didn't make, make big difference. Now let's go. Now set the volume of a micro to 1500 microliters. Thus, then take appropriate tips for uh, of the pipette. Then take the bacterial culture using the pipette. So one. So 1500 microliter of bacterial culture now. Pour it into micro centrifugal tube or a pin dwarf. Keep it in centrifuge. Pour an equal volume of water in it to balance the weight in the centrifuge. Then close the lid. Set the centrifuge in 5000 RPM for 5 minutes at 4 degrees Celsius temperature. This is the first time centrifugation in this whole process. Open the centrifuge and take out the vial from the rotor. Change the tip of the pipette. Remove the supernatant carefully without disturbing the pellet. Put the back, put back the vial in its stack. Set the volume to 100 microliters. Change the pipette tip. Take lysis solution one from the ice box. Take 100 microliters of the solution of lysis one. Pour it into the vial containing pellet. Vortex it using vortex mixture. Set the volume to 2000 microliters. Take an appropriate tip. Take the lysis solution 2 as shown. Add the solution 2 to the vial containing pellet and the lysis solution 1. Mix by inverting the vial by hand approximately 5 to 6 times as shown. Put the vial in the ice box for 1 minute. Set the volume to 150 microliters. Take an appropriate tip of the pipette. Take the lysis solution 3 from the ice box. Then put it back. Add the solution 3 into the vial kept in the ice box. Mix by inverting with the hand approximately 5 times as shown. Store the vial in ice box for another 5 minutes. Then take it. Centrifuge it at 5000 RPM for 5 minutes at 4 degrees Celsius temperature. Take the vial out of the centrifuge. Remove the supernatant carefully without disturbing the pellet. Put back the vial in the rack. Transfer the supernatant to a new vial. We need supernatant from now on. We don't need pellet anymore. Set the volume to 200 microliters. Take an appropriate tip for the pi pipette. Take ethanol, 70% pure using pipette. Add it into the vial containing transferred supernatant. Vortex it using vortex mixture. Keep it for 2 minutes 
in normal temperature at outside. Then take it up. Centrifuge it at 5000 RPM for 5 minutes at 4 degrees Celsius temperature. Take the valve out of the centrifuge. Remove the supernatant carefully without disturbing the pellet. We need the pellet now. Allow to stand the vial for 2 minutes at room temperature as shown. Set the volume to 1000 microliters. Take an appropriate tip for the pipette, then take ethanol using pipette. Add it into the vial kept for drying. Centrifuge it again at 5000 RPM for 5 minutes at 4 degrees Celsius temperature. Take the valve out of the centrifuge. Remove the supernatant carefully without disturbing the pellet. Put the valve in the rack with its mouth open for 5 to 10 minutes to evaporate the ethanol. We prefer you to stand it for 10 minutes. Set the volume to 5, 50 microliters. Take an appropriate tip for the pipette. Take 50 microliters of reagent which is TE buffer with RNSA. Add it to the valve that dried. Vortex it with the help of vortex mixture. Detect plasmid by doing agarose gel electrophoresis with a suitable marker. 